Hello everyone! So I've got another Mother's Day card for you guys and I'm using some pattern paper from the Cartabella So Lovely 6x6 pack and a few of my MFT Dynamics. So I grabbed the Rose with Overlay Dynamics. Um, I had shown a card made with this months ago um, doing pattern paper and then a solid um, color for the outline and I had a lot of people asking if I do a video. And yeah, really, really simple. So I chose a pink polka dot pattern for the main body of the flower and then a darker pink, more solid paper from the pack for the outline. And then just a piece of some olive green cardstock from my stash. And I used um, those bodies of the layered leaves dynamics, which I love and ran that all through my big shot at once. And then while I had it out, um, I just grabbed a piece of white cardstock and one of my pierced rectangle stacks dies and ran that through as well. So then once I was done with that, I'm gonna go on to adhering the two pieces of the rose together. So yeah, really, really simple. Um, popped out all the negative space there and got that out of the way. And then I just flipped the rose um, overlay over and I'm just using my Tombow Mono Multi and just dabbing the glue on, barely squeezing it all because again, you don't want glue to be oozing out the sides and creating a big mess. So I just apply little dabs here and there in the center in the intersecting areas and around the edges, not completely covering it because it doesn't need that. So once I've got all my adhesive down, I pick it up and I apply from the bottom, I find is the easiest. Once you've got um, the shape you know, it's pretty easy to determine where which goes where. So start from the bottom, press it all down, and then I just flip it over and give it a good rub with my hands so that I make sure everything's adhered and that's all there is to it. So once I was done that, um, I grabbed the piece of white cardstock that I die cut with the pierced rectangle stack dies and then just my Hero Arts Black Ink. And then these are some sentiment stamps from my All About Mom sentiment set. So I'm inking up um, the Scripty Mom stamp and gonna get it lined up here on the rectangle where I want it. And since the whole stamp positioner covers this piece of cardstock, so there's nothing holding it in place, I just grab the teeniest amount of my ATG adhesive, really small amount, because if you put too much on here, you're not gonna be able to get it up off your craft sheet without it um, tearing, but just enough to hold it in, to, in place so that it doesn't move around while I do this. But yeah, get that lined up and then ink it up again and stamp it onto the cardstock. And then I do the exact same thing with another stamp from the same set, the one that says I love you. So ink that up, stamp it on the sheet. Wasn't sure where I was going to put it, but I liked it better um, on the top there. So get that lined up as well and then ink it up another a second time and stamp that into place. So once I'm done with that, um, I'm going to uh, mat that onto a piece of black cardstock because I didn't like how everything was kind of pale and faded out there. So I just trimmed a piece of black cardstock slightly larger than the white rectangle there so that it gives it just a nice little border there and makes it just pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to adhere that to this bluish patterned paper from the same pack. And I, mat I matted this piece of paper with some dark pink cardstock I had in my stash, some old Stampin' Up cardstock that really matched well with the dark pink of the pattern paper. So once everything's nice and matted, get it all adhered, and then I decided I didn't like how much white space there was on the bottom here. Even though the flower and the leaves are going to cover it, I wanted to add just a little something more, so I grabbed this darker um, navy damask pattern paper from the same pack, and then lined it up on my craft sheet, and then lined up that same pierced uh, rectangle stacks because I didn't want it to kind of stand out I thought the piercing would make it fit in but in the end you can't even tell I think because this pattern paper is a bit busier and it's so dark you can't even see the piercing holes so that part was kind of redundant but that's how I did it anyway <laughs> so I adhered that and then I grabbed um this is some pink taffeta ribbon I don't even know if Stampin' Up makes this if they still do oh love this ribbon I've had mine for years. I'm slowly starting to run out of it, but it is one of my favorite ribbons. I just love the width and how soft it is and it ties the most perfect bows. So, and this specific one, this um, lighter pink one is so pretty. I think it's just, yeah, it's pretty in pink. Love it. So anyway, uh, wrapped that around my card and then taped off the back and then just wrapped the bow around there and tied it into place and then determined where I wanted the leaves to go and adhered those first and then added my adhesive to the rose and that's it for that. 
And then finally I wanted to add a few little embellishments so I grabbed some of my enamel dots. These are all some of my mind's eye ones. So I grabbed the packs that I had to see if I had any colors that would go well. And the one pack had a pink that matched pretty well and the other pack had a green that matched really well. So I grabbed a few of those, pressed those into place, and then I'm going to adhere this to my white card base. And this is a standard A2 card, so four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and it's a top folding card. So got that adhered, and then for the inside of the card, I just trimmed down some of the remaining pieces of pattern paper that I had left over from the front, and I die cut another little white rectangle with the pierced rectangle dynamics, and I'm going to use another stamp from my All About Mom set. This is the Happy Mother's Day stamp. So same thing, got it inked up and used my stamp positioner. Um, I adhered it down that with a little teensy bit of the ATG just to hold it into place. And then got that stamp just along the top because I'm planning on trimming the rest off. And then I'm going to adhere these little strips of pattern paper together. And then figure out where this damask strip is going to go with so I can just trim off the rest of this rectangle with scissors. Really simple. So got that trimmed off, I'm going to adhere that into place, and then I'm going to adhere all of this onto the inside of the card first. And then once that's adhered, I can apply the strip of the damask pattern paper and trim that off with scissors, and that completely finishes off the card. So as always, um, I will post a link below the video to my blog post, and I'll post links to all the supplies used. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!